Hey, how's it going? I'm Wesley. I'm going to talk about a git plumbing command, git cat file. Uh, and it's pretty cool because it lets you inspect the git database. Uh, most people don't even care about what's going on in git uh, in the database under the hood. All you really care about most of the time is the commits you're making, being able to go back in history. Sometimes, though, it may be helpful to be able to check the contents of files and just in general to kind of know the way the Git database works if ever you need to go back in time and write, rewrite your Git history. So, what is the Git database, though? You'll notice if you have a Git repository cloned, there is a git folder, a .git folder, that is pulled down with your repository if you clone it. Or if you're initting a new git repository, it'll generate that .git folder. And that .git folder contains your git database. So you can actually look at the contents of your .git folder and see a bunch of directories and files. In this video, we're going to talk specifically about what is inside of the objects folder in a loose git uh, in a loose, uh, loosely packed Git database. There's three types of objects in a Git database. There's commits, trees, and blobs. You've probably already encountered commits. Anytime you do a Git log, you get a list of commits. Um, but being able to run the git cat file command will give you some insight into what these commits actually are inside of the Git database. So if you run git cat file dash p, which is pretty print, and pass in the hash of one of your commits that uh, prints the contents of this object in the database. So there's five pieces of information in a git commit. One is the tree, and the tree is a, a, a hash which points to another object. A, a tree is basically a directory. It represents a directory in your source code. So this tree hash points to a tree object in the git database. That tree object is the root of your repository for this git commit. The second piece of information is the parent hash. And this is simply a the hash for the parent commit of this commit object. So if you'll, you'll notice that the previous commit is the same string as the parent string in this commit. And this is how you end up with a string of commits. Each commit contains information pointing to the parent commit. And that's uh, indicated here. Uh, the other two pieces of information is the author and committer. I don't really know the difference between those two still. Uh, so if you do, please comment with that information. Uh, and finally, it contains information regarding uh, your commit message. So whatever you said git commit, you know, whatever you commit typed into that commit message box um, will show up here. Alright, so that's a git commit object. You can run the same cat file command on any hash in your git database. So we can actually run it on this tree object to find the, to get the contents of this tree object. And you'll notice a tree object in the Git database is nothing more than uh, a couple, several lines of a file, each one of which represents an item in the root of your repository. So in my case, my repository contains three files, a folder file, a directory, uh, and then two text-based files, so a Python file and a TXT file. Any directories will be represented as tree objects in the database, and they'll have their own hash. And any file objects will be represented as blob objects. So we can run the same cat file command on a blob object to get the contents of that blob. And this is actually the same as if I were to cat my hello.py file. That's pretty cool. Um, similarly, we can do cat file on a subdirectory, which will print, uh, with, and that that tree object will contain uh, yet more information for any items underneath that directory. 
so files or more trees or blob objects or more trees and again we can get cat file any uh, hash in this file and that's the same as if I were to cat the file in my uh, directory so folder so yeah those are some basic commands for how they get uh, for inspecting objects in your git database pretty cool it's helpful to understand what's going on under the hood uh, so that you can traverse the tree easier. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful and you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Make any comments if you have any questions. So we'll see you in the next video.